Hello Zany friends, I am Lainey. Hi. Marshall. And today we're going to talk about skincare, which we haven't talked about on this channel hardly at all. So I thought I would show you my skincare routine. And I know a lot of these videos people are like in their bathroom doing stuff. My bathroom is not that pretty. In fact, I'm in the process of getting it organized so that it looks a little bit better. So until then, we will just show you what I do with my skincare routine. So this is going to be broken into like kind of two parts. The first part is my main skincare, which I do before I go to bed. And then I have a little bit more like how I uh, like really deep clean my skin and what I do in the morning. Um, so I will show you that as well. But we're going to start with nighttime. So the way I have my face right now is like, you know, I came home from work and I'm ready to go to bed, right? Mm -hmm. um, so the first thing that I do is I take I uh, makeup wipe and I just wipe everything down. A lot of time I will do this while I'm watching TV, like before I go to bed, I'll just wind down. And um, you're gonna see I have a preference as to a brand of skincare in here, but I'm always looking for more. Um, I like to go with a more natural, organic, if I can at all, skincare routine. So the first thing I, of course, use is my Pacifica Makeup Wipes because I cannot be without these. This is Pineapple Wipeout. I also love Berry Happy. That's my other favorite one. Um, but what I'm going to have Marshall do is very briefly tell you, uh, like, about the ingredients if he can find it on the package. Some of these do not have ingredients. Um, but what I love about this is that they smell amazing and they, they seem to take everything off with except for the heavy-duty waterproof eye makeup. Um, but... Definitely a good first step, especially if you're lazy like me and you don't want to like sit there and wash your face every single night. While I'm looking for the ingredients, is there any anything that people can do that's more like really fast off the shelf, not necessarily a big brand uh, that they might be able to use for something like this? You mean as a face wash? Yeah. Well, uh, well, makeup wipes are it. Um, Pacifica is my go-to, but um, on top of that, you can also get Garnier. You can get an Up and Up brand. Um, you can get Neutrogena. I mean, these are all really good things. I just choose this one because I know it's a company that I love their products. Their skincare products work for me, and I know it's got good ingredients in it. It doesn't say exactly what what it's what's got it in it, but it does use pineapple extract. And this is one thing that Pacifica does a lot mm. is that it's vegan. Yes. Okay. And cruelty free. Vegan and cruelty free, and then mm -hmm. it's got another symbol, which I'm assuming is another cruelty free kind of symbol, which is a heart with a wave in it. Uh, yeah. I haven't seen that. We'll have to look before. that one up. Yeah. Yeah, but it's cool. So once you're done with your face, I then try to take off my eye makeup a little bit more, and I use these Burt Bees eye makeup remover pads. Again, this is a more natural uh, way to go. I will say I use. Again, I use Pacifica Mascara mostly every day, the Dream Big, and it's not waterproof on its packaging, but that sucker stays on. It does not come off, and it is, it's very hard even to get this off with this. So what I'll do is I'll do this in the morning, or also, and at night, so that I can get all of it off before I start the next day. And if you uh, also, you can also use like some kind of makeup remover. It doesn't have to be on a pad. You can use your own pads and makeup remover. This is just what I used because I got it in a box and I really like it. Okay, so like the first two ingredients, you always have water as like the first ingredient in pretty much all of this stuff. But the very next one, which is the active ingredient, is kiwi fruit water. Yes. Yep. Um, then you've got basically some stuff that's designed to act as a binder. And then you've got lactic acid. So this is, so yeah, this is actually very... All right, so after that, what I like to do is put on a, um, a sheet mask. And uh, of course, I have a variety of masks if you've watched any of my unboxing videos, face Tori, I get a ton of sheet masks. And right now on Instagram, if this is, yeah, this is probably still going to be the month of May when I put this up. But on Instagram right now, I'm doing, I'm trying to do a mask a day. I'm kind of failing a little bit, but at least you'll see a variety of masks. But of course, Pacifica has one of my favorite masks. I also really love BioBell if you're looking for a good mask. But Pacifica is a little bit cheaper and it's always buy one, get one 40% off at Ulta or something. And this is the Mattified Prep. This is also in their pineapple line. I did get this as PR. That's why I have a lot of the pineapple stuff. But I love their masks. They're so easy to use. They've got uh, a lot of really good ingredients on there. Yeah, this is this is using basically just kind of fruit extracts as well as some green tea extracts and some vitamin c so this is uh, this is like 
really awesome stuff too. The next uh, product I have, this is actually my second. I got a couple of these from one of my friends. I have not bought the full size because I feel like it's really pricey, but um, yeah guys, this is, the hype is true. This stuff is amazing. So after my sheet mask, I will go ahead and uh, take a little cotton pad and just wipe this all over my face. This is the uh, Pixie Skin Treats Glow Tonic Exfoliating Toner. And it doesn't have any ingredients on the back, but it does have just a few on the front so that you can see what it is. But it is paraben free and cruelty free. Aloe vera. Ginseng. That's what I did. Yeah. And then I concentrate on my lips. While that toner is just really sinking into my skin, I concentrate on lips. And I have this lip scrub, which I love. It's a lemonade uh, scented and flavored lip lip scrub and this is from pretties for your face and i love her lip scrubs they're so great um if you i do have a code if you want to get anything from her site you can just use the code laney and you can get some money off i believe it's 20 percent. could be 15 i don't know um i cannot remember so definitely get some lip scrub it comes in this little container and it takes me forever to get through it and lemonade how could you not it's summertime you need all the things lemonade um yeah, it, she's got some really, really cute packaging. She does have some ingredients on the side there. Yeah, raw sugar, pure olive oil, castor oil. It's yeah. good. Yeah. Um, so then I just, I put that all over my lips. And then while that's happening to, while it's doing stuff, I use a serum. And right now my favorite one is the Pacifica Natural Beauty Sea Change Future Youth Serum. It's kind of a small bottle, um, but I do love this one as well because it really makes my skin tighten up, glow, and minimizes my pores a lot more. Um, so this is a great one to use, and you're just going to put that on your face, and you're going to let that sink in for a little while. You know, you don't want to put your moisturizer on right away. Yep. Vegan, cruelty-free, paraben-free. Then I have the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. I got a little one of these in a box. And now I cannot stop using this stuff. It is so good. Um, it is pricey though, guys. And I got this uh, a, long, a little while ago. I can't remember. I had some kind of card uh, to get like 20 bucks at like a gift card at Sephora. And I bought it because it's 20 bucks. But it lasts forever. I mean, look, I'm not even, I don't even have a dent. I pretty much have had this for like a couple months. And I don't even have a dent. So you just put that on and you let that sink in. So after I've taken my lip scrub away, I put this on. This is a Korean skincare brand. You can get it on Amazon as well as Sephora. Um, you might be able to get it Ulta also. I don't remember. No ingredients listed. It's probably on a box. Yeah. So then while all of that stuff is uh, sinking into my skin, I got the serum and the lip mask, I use an eye, uh, eye product because my eyes are very puffy, um, especially in the morning. So I just got this one actually from my friend Megan. They started selling Bliss at Target. So she got this and then she passed it on to me. This is the I Do All Things Hydrating Eye Gel to depuff and brighten. Um, I So I use this before I go to bed. I also have an eye cream that I use from Bobbi Brown, but it's very expensive. So I'm trying to use that up as well as use something that might be more drugstore. This has a little metal ball right there so you can just put that right underneath your eye and I do like it. Um, it is also cruelty free but what else about there? No. It's a cool applicator. Yeah it is. And then lastly I don't even have any of this left. This is an empty jar that reminds me that I need to buy more but I'm going through other moisturizers right now, but I wanted to show you my favorite, and this is the Laneige Water Bank Moisture Cream. It is my favorite. I love how it feels going onto the skin. It's very uh, hydrating and cooling and just helps me go to bed, which is good because I also sleep with a chillow. I don't know if you guys know what that is, but it's basically a thing that goes in your pillow. Well, a real chillow is a chilling pillow, but mine is like a pad that I put in the freezer and I put it in my pillow before I go to bed and let it like at least c calm down on the frozen part of it. You know what I'm talking about? So that I can actually sleep on it and it makes my face cool and I love it because even though I have to sleep with the fan on for the air, this really cools my body temperature down and helps me to sleep a little bit better um, mm. with that with that chillow. Um, so that and that together is just amazing. Okay, so that is my nighttime skincare routine. Let's talk about what happens in the morning or some other things. So in the morning, the first thing I do when I get up 
is I use a spray toner. Um, this will help my skin really wake up, freshen up. This is the Mario Badescu Facial Spray with Aloe, Cucumber, and Green Tea. Um, so I'll use that spray. And what's really great about this is that you can use it as a setting spray. So like if you're traveling and you don't want to carry that many things, you wake up with it, you, you know, let it dry down, do everything else you need to in the morning, put on your makeup and then spray it one more time and it really locks your stuff into place. I love it. I am now obsessed with it. it, it, it you can get them in a bigger bottle and I have, especially during Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty, it's usually on sale and I'll just stock up on it. Uh, but this little, little bottle I believe is $5 so you can get like a travel size if you want. Totally worth it. I, I, it lasts for a long time too. If there is a leaf, it's extract is in here. <laughs> so There's a lot, lot of different extracts of, going on in here, a lot of that. including peppermint is one of the higher left, higher ranked ones. Yes. Um, and then for um, my eyes, I just got this. I used to use this e.l.f. ID puffer in the morning and I don't use that anymore because I found this and it's the Physician's Formula Refreshment Cucumber and Bamboo ID Puffer. And it is in this little tube that you just scroll up and you put it right below your eyes and it makes my eyes tingle a little bit, but not in like a bad way. It's not burning, but it wakes me up. So I'll put that on and then I'll wait for a little while and then I'll do my makeup and then it makes it so my bugs and my eyes don't look so black, right? So the one thing I do, well, go ahead. You can talk about that. Um, there, there really isn't anything listed. It's just, it looks like you're putting a glue stick on your eye. It does, like a glue stick, yep. I can do crafts. <laughs> so the last thing I wanted to talk about, which is actually the reason for this video, honestly, is um, I want to talk about what happens when I really deep clean my skin. Um, in when I'm in this, what I do basically do is in the shower, I'll use a face wash, and this one is the Pacifica Pineapple Cleanse Face Wash, and I'll use a little bit of this with. Uh, you know, usually I'll put it on my hand, I have a little scrubber, but I recently just got this. This is from a brand called Duvol, um, and it is very similar to the Clarisonic, um, but it's a lot cheaper, and they actually gave me this to try out. Um, it comes with a bunch of different heads. It's called their Radiance Spin Care System. And I will have a link for this and a couple other items that they sell on their website down below. Again, I did receive this for review, but they have uh, at, they have said that I can give you guys a coupon for 70% off. That's 70% off. If you use the code PEAK70 on any of the four items down below, you will get 70% off. And that's styling tools, they've got a flat iron, and their Radiant Spin Care System. So let's go over this so you can see the features of this. It is battery powered, which is probably the one thing about this that I'm not exactly happy about it. I really like things that you can charge because of, you know, batteries, but we have rechargeable batteries so we can put it in and out, it's fine. Um, you can use this in your shower because it is water resistant. Um, and then you just turn it on. You can hear it. And I just like to put uh, this, the face wash on my face and then use this. This brush right here is an exfoliating brush. And so I'll just use that all over the place. You guys know how to use one of these things. It's it also has a pumice stone. And I'm interested in that because I get some pretty bad calluses on my face. Mm -hmm. So you can use that. There also comes with a facial cleaning one that's very small. And it comes with one for the body as well, which is... A big one. Mm -hmm. And then what he's talking about is this little puma stone. It's just like this, which you can use like on your feet or your elbows or whatever. Whatever, you can use that. Um, so it comes with those four heads. Uh, but I, I really like this. I like that it, it gives you a little bit more scrubbing action when you're doing stuff in the shower there. Yeah. Um, and it is nice to hold. The other thing that kind of was a little hard for us to do was to take the top, the bottom part off to get yeah. the batteries, but we figured out how to do it. Uh, we were going like this, like we can't get it off, right? But because finally... the, the battery pack is very smooth, mm -hmm. so your hand just slips right off. Yeah, you have to like squeeze it and get it off. It's not a, it's not a deal breaker once you figure out yeah. how to do it, but when the first time we were like, it's not happening. So just, you have to really grip it and then take it off. Um, so, and then in order to turn it off, you just hit the button. So there's a little buttons right here. There is a nice grip right here for when you're in the shower that you can hold onto it. It's not going to slip out, which is really awesome. And I love the color. It's like a really pretty mint green color. So again, the information for that is down below. And that is my skincare routine. Uh, let me know if you guys like 
this kind of videos down below. Uh, tell me what you use and any brands that I should try uh, that are maybe more drugstore priced or, you know, that are just really amazing and I should plunk down the money for it. Or if you know anything from Marshall. Never right. too early to start skincare. Right now, the only, the closest thing I have to skincare is those little elf um, eye refresher things that they, that they roll on to mm -hmm. get rid of the bagginess. Yeah. You need to exfoliate and moisturize. It's never too late. When I'm in the shower, I do use an activated charcoal facial scrub. Mm -hmm. I use that um, just to try and, you know, soften it up. <laughs> Make myself soft for... My lonely bed. Anyway, if you like these kind of things, make sure that you do what, Marshall? Oh, hey, you could like, like, or subscribe, or notification button. That's a good thing. I'm gonna put a little playlist right up here of all of the videos of, of this type that you might be interested in seeing, or you can hit right here and subscribe. If you are a new subscriber and you like what you see, make sure you come on back. Thank you for watching, and until next time, stay zany. Bye-bye.